Hey guys, it's Will, and in this video, uh, this is the one that you guys have, have all been asking for uh, in the comments sections on the last one or two or three videos. I would say one of the most common comments that I get is this thing that we're going to cover today. How to choose a niche or a market and what to teach and how to make 10k a month uh, from your computer at home by... Uh, starting a uh, an online education uh, business, which is what I've done. Uh, I've been working in this online education space for the last, uh, coming up on, on over seven years now. I've made, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but I've made about 21, 22 million dollars now um, over that time period. And I've done this at a very high level. I've been in all the top masterminds. I know uh, a lot of the people at the very top of this game, I know what they do, how they do it, how much money they make, and um, yeah, in, in this video, I'm going to answer these two questions. So for all of you guys who uh, want to get into this, you can see uh, how profitable this is, how valuable this is for both you and the people that you're going to be helping, uh, how much freedom this can give you. You can do it from home, from anywhere in the world, you can do it in your spare time, you can do it full time. You can do it anytime. So um, I think this will be a really awesome video and I think this is really gonna, gonna add a, a hell of a lot of value for you guys. I only have one ask. If you do like this, just share it with someone. Post it on your Twitter, post it on your Facebook, tag me in a story on Instagram and tell me that you're watching it. Just share it. And, and if you would do that for me, I'd really appreciate that. Okay guys, anyway, so let's get into it. Now, how do you choose a niche? Now, before I answer that, I've actually got a list here. So I'll just drag this over to the side. So I've got a list in front of me here that I took about 30 minutes to put together. This list of uh, online education companies, the niches that I'm about to give to you, I either know these people personally or I've coached them and helped them either build or grow their business. Every single one of these guys, I think the lowest earning is about... 40, 50K per month in cash collected. So every single one of these is either at 50K a month or, or way above. Some of these are at seven figures a month. I, 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 that's, just, that's just the truth. So here's the list. How to run ads, whether that's Facebook ads, TikTok ads, blah, 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 blah. How to run ads, how to write them, how to run them, how to manage them, on and on. How to cut hair. How to produce music or get better at music. How to get six pack abs. I've worked with a few people, uh, some are more specific, some are like lose this amount of weight in this time, some of them are just nutrition, some of them are fitness. I've actually worked with a lot of fitness guys, I don't really know why that is. Uh, you'd think that I would be more fit with all the fitness guys that I've worked with but it's sadly not the case um, how to become a closer that's a very 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 profitable uh, thing to sell how to take pictures of birds I was as surprised as you believe me but that's a that's an offer that's doing a lot of money per month uh, how to stop drinking alcohol I think that's a, the, an awesome offer. Uh, how to trade financial markets, incredibly, incredibly popular. There's so many people doing that because um, it works. And that's another thing I want to cover in a minute, actually, because people always say to me, oh, but everybody's doing it. The market is saturated. Can I do it too? The answer is yes. We'll get to that in a second. Okay, guys. How to generate qualified leads, how to start a recruitment agency, uh, how to pass maths tests with A-star grades. I'm actually coaching someone right now um, who teaches that from home. He's doing about 70,000 a month uh, teaching that. So I was actually quite surprised at that. I was quite surprised when, when that guy joined me as a client and he said that he was doing that much money. Um, but, but it does actually make sense when you know what's under the hood. But anyway, that's a conversation for another time. Um, how to get a job selling software services. That is, that's doing, that's doing really well. How to master music to a professional level. How to talk to members of the opposite sex. How to start an accounting or bookkeeping business. Uh, how to intermittent fast properly and lose 10 pounds in six weeks. 
Uh, that was another offer. I was quite surprised how much money that guy was making, actually. Um, but that's more, I don't know, that's may, maybe my judgment on that, but, uh, but it is true. How to outsource the production of audiobooks and then sell them online. That's, that, that, is, that is making a lot of money. You wouldn't even believe me if I told you how much. Um, and finally, how to outsource the production and operation of a faceless YouTube channel. And that's doing obscene numbers, obscene numbers. So there's a few examples, guys, of, and again, just as a, a reminder, in case any of you skipped to this part in the video, every single one of those that I've just mentioned is doing multiple five figures a month. Some are doing six a month. Some are doing seven figures per month, cash collected in sales, by the way. And every single one of those, I either know the founder personally, um, or they're one of my coaching clients. All right, so that's how I've compiled that list um, and how I know it's accurate. Now, I really think that people get too in the weeds when it comes to uh, what they can teach. And honestly, I think people know. Well, no, I take that back. That's not true, actually, because a lot of people come to me and they say to me, oh, well, I've only got this skill as like someone came to the came to me this morning and he's a sales rep who's making like, you know, 11, 12,000 a month. And he was like, could I teach this to other people? I was like, dude, of course you bloody can. You're making 12 grand a month from home taking sales calls. Of course you can teach that, you know? So a lot of you, I would venture most of you have a skill or a talent or some high value knowledge that other people would pay to learn. Most people that I speak to, usually they come to me and say, Will, I've, 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 I'm not looking at the camera. Sorry, let me just make this bigger so I can look at you guys. Sorry about that. So a lot of people uh, come to me and they've got something great to share. They either just don't, they need a nudge. They need, often all they need is for me to just approve the idea and just tell them how good an idea it is and how they can do it. And then they get on with it and, and, and they make it happen. But here's another thing that I wrote on my notes. Now, whatever people need to get the outcome they're paying for was a note that I wrote down in the section on what to teach. Okay, this is another thing that I think people get very uh, hung up on. So let's say, let's just take one of those things. Let's take, um, let me pick one off the list. Um, how, to, how to become a closer, let's just say, because it's a, it's a great example and it's a very, 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 very high value skill. So how to become a closer. And if, uh, for anyone who doesn't know what a closer is, it's a sales rep, basically a, a remote high ticket sales rep. You stay at home, you take sales calls and you get paid commission for any sales that you close, right? Now, if you were going to teach that, how would you teach it and, and what would you teach? Well, to answer what would you teach, you just teach them what they need to get the outcome, what they need to get the result. People get so hung up. Um, I just had a, a new client join my Done For You program yesterday, where basically I coach people one-to-one. -one. It's a very high-level program, um, and I help them build the whole business and the whole infrastructure. I advise them on deliverables, and I just make it happen, basically. I just make the bloody thing happen and almost force them to make money. Uh, which is, is awesome because I, I just know how to do this at such a high level now. But this guy was like, oh, should we do a course? Should we do group coaching? Should we do one-to-one -one coaching? Should we do a community? Should I give people my WhatsApp? Should I do in person? I was like, dude, just relax, man. Just fucking relax. Okay. What do they need? Do they need in person? Most people don't. Do they need a community? Dude, communities, I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan. You just don't need them. It's just the blind leading the blind. They're so stupid. I just hate communities so much. Just such a waste of everybody's time and energy. So you almost certainly don't need a community, right? Most people just need an online course 
with some form of coaching or accountability. Whether it's group coaching, whether it's one-to-one -one coaching or both, if you want to do both, some niches need both, some niches don't need either. But let, let's stick with the closer. Let's stick with the closer example. Now, closers need ramping, they need training, they need call reviews, they need help with their mindset and um, just inspiration and staying focused and, and on and on. So that's an offer where coaching would absolutely be appropriate, right? Uh, trading financial markets, it's not that important, really, when it comes to coaching. Um, you, you can do a lot more with a course than you can with, with coaching, in my opinion, there, because it's more, do you need accountability? Of course. Do you need help? Of course. But it's more, just give me the knowledge of what and how to do and let me go and do it when it comes to that. Whereas for closers, it does require more time and energy and hand-holding and, and, and on and on, right? So whatever your niche is, don't get hung up on how you're going to teach. Just use... The best advice I could honestly give is just use common sense. What do they need? This also comes to how long the program is as well. So people always like to, from my experience, they like to try and build the biggest, best, deepest, most incredible program on planet Earth before they've even got a customer. That's really stupid, guys. Okay. That's, that's not the way to go. Start with an MVP, minimum viable product, that's just good enough to get people a result. Get three or four or five customers in there and then get the feedback from the customers. Do they say that, you know, maybe this thing is missing? Do they say, oh, is there any chance that we could get this? That kind of thing. And if they do, then they are helping you find what's called product market fit. What product market fit is, is just when your product and your offer and your message is just right for the market. And when you tell people about it, they want to buy it. When people do buy it, they love it and it works for them and they get the outcome. That's basically product market fit. And your customers are the ones that help you find that. So you actually, it's actually not possible to build an amazing product from day one because you're guessing at what people want and need, right? So start with an MVP. Don't even try and build the world's best product from day one. And all that people need when it comes to what you're going to teach them is what they need to get the outcome that they're paying for. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Whether you have or haven't decided on your niche yet, or maybe you're already on your way. Maybe you've got an education company and you're doing 30, 50, 70 plus K per month. What is the outcome that you are selling? Is it by the end of this program, you're gonna have a six pack? Is it by the end of this program, you're going to be able to trade profitably and make money? Is it by the end of this program, you're going to be able to work for a, for a company and close their high ticket uh, calls from home and make 5, 10, 15k a month. What's the outcome that you are selling to people? And then working backwards from there, what do they need that's going to get them that outcome with the most consistency on your part? So what's going to get almost all of your customers that outcome? Now let me tell you this guys, there is no education company on planet earth where every customer ever gets the outcome. That's because some people will buy and then get scared and refund. Some people will buy and they just forget about it. They just get lazy or they don't care or they change their mind and they honestly just disappear. Some people don't do the work. Some people's mindset is just a terrible mess and they will self-sabotage. And on and on and on and on, right? So no one has a 100% success rate. Some people are higher than others. I mean, uh, I've personally never, ever, ever had a refund, never, ever, ever had a chargeback. 
um, or anything. I've never had an unhappy client in this current coaching business, this, this uh, build, grow and exit.com business that I currently own and operate as I've been making this video, touch wood. Um, so, but then again, I've only worked with about 90 clients now. So it's a very small sample size. You know, I'm sure there'll be bloody someone. There always is eventually. Um, but yeah, what outcome are you selling? And what do your customers need to get that outcome? Now, I want to give you another example. Okay. And this is, this is probably the most important part of, of this video, of, of whatever I can ever tell you. Because this is somewhere where people get very hung up. What should I charge? What should you charge? Value is subjective. Okay. If you find two people, one of them is a CEO of a bank. I'm just making this up, by the way. And the other one is a cashier at a supermarket who works on the checkout. The first person makes like $200,000 a year. The other makes, let's just say 25,000 a year, right? Now, if you go to each of those people, let's, let's just say that they are uh, alcoholics. They're both alcoholics and they desperately want to quit for whatever their reasons are. And let's say your program is $5,000. For example, I'm just, again, I'm just, I'm just making this up. Now, 5,000 to the cashier who works in the supermarket is a lot of money. That's like two or maybe three months, maybe more of uh, income. The CEO at the bank, well, that's not really a lot of money for that guy. If he lives in Dubai and there's no tax to pay on his income and he's just got 200 grand clean money per year and he really has a severe problem that he wants to solve, he's going to pay that 5k no problem. He'd probably pay 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, maybe more for it. So can you see how not only is value subjective and if you go to one group of people, you're never going to make any sales. Whereas if you go to another group of people, you're going to make sales pretty easily, actually. Not only is value subjective, but positioning makes a massive, massive... I'm not looking at the camera again, for God's sakes. Sorry, guys. Uh, there we go. I have my, my camera over there. So can you see how value is subjective and going to the right group of people will make your life 10 times easier and the wrong group of people will make your life near impossible? when it comes to selling your online education. Okay. I want to also add this. And I was saying this on one of my uh, group coaching calls literally just yesterday. So for those that don't know, um, one of the programs that I offer is a group coaching program where we only let 20 people in at, at any one time. And we do two big two hour group calls every week, one every Monday, one every Thursday, where everybody's allowed to come on. And we learn from each other, we ask questions, we share ideas, and we just dive deep into business, numbers, on and on and on, everything that's a part of one of these businesses. And someone asked me uh, a question yesterday. They said, I'm struggling to decide on a price. I just can't figure out what, what to charge. Now, this is a deep subject. This is a subject for another video, quite honestly, because we talked about this for 15, 20, 25 minutes together as a group. But I just want to give you a little bit on, on this in, in this video because it's an important component. Pricing is completely made up. It's just completely made up, right? Whenever people price things, they usually, firstly, they'll look at the market. So is anybody else selling something similar to what I'm selling? What are they selling it for, right? It, and then it takes them ages to just think about value. So again, what outcome are you selling and what is it worth to the person? So let's use the executive that we were just talking about there. He earns 200,000 a year. He works for a bank. He's an alcoholic. It's ruining his family. It's ruining his relationships. It's ru ruining his health. 
he's probably not going to live as long, he's wasting money, he's wasting time, he's doing his job worse, he might even lose his job, he might lose his wife, um, and on and on and on. So it's a very severe problem, right? Now, if that could be solved, and you could clean up all those areas of that guy's life, he's going to live longer, he's going to have a better relationship with his wife and kids, he's going to have more energy, more clarity, more focus, he's going to enjoy his life more, he's going to be able to do more with his life and his time, achieve more, make more money, probably ascend in his organization that he works in. What's that worth? What's that worth? That's worth someone's life. That's worth 50 grand, 100 grand, 250 grand. To the right person, that's worth a million. Now, I'm not saying go and charge a million for your bloody program, all right? Calm down. But you know what I mean? So you've got to stop thinking about just the moment that someone pays and think about what are they going to have? What are they going to get? What are they going to experience? Where are they going to be able to go to as a result of what we're doing together, you and your client within one of your online education businesses. One example that I really, really like is the maths tutor that uh, is currently a client of mine. So he's, well, I, I won't go deep. I won't share any personal information, but because that's just not fair because I don't have permission from, from him, but awesome guy. Uh, I think it's him and one business partner. Again, they're doing about 70,000 a month, maybe it's slightly more now. Um, and they help, I think it's, well, I know it's, it's kids, it's kids passing maths tests, but who do they market to? Let me ask you a question. Who do you think that they market to based on what I've told you so far? Wealthy parents in wealthy areas who want their kids to do really well. Uh, and they probably compete with their friends' children and other children in their family as well. They want, I mean, who doesn't want their children to be the biggest and the best, the most successful, the richest? So if you're, if you're a wealthy parent and you want your children to do as best as possible, you're gonna put money on the line to make that happen, aren't you? I know that I would. If my child was struggling, I'd pay 10K for a tutor, no problem, man, no problem. Uh, pro probably more, to be honest if it meant that my kid was gonna have an amazing life. Because again, what is the long tail benefit of that for both you as the parent and the child as well? Well, it could be that they get that job and that career that they otherwise wouldn't have got. That's worth hundreds, that's probably worth millions across an entire life. You know, getting a shit career compared to a absolutely fantastic career. That's worth, that's worth a lot, man. The long tail effects of that across 30, 40, 50 years is just, just insane. So very valuable, but only to the right person. So if you like walk down the street in some, uh, just some broke town in the north of England and started saying to people, hey, you know, for 10,000 pounds, I will help your child get an A in maths. People would probably be like, no, go away, shut up, you know? Um, no, I can't afford that. There's no way I can afford that and that, that kind of thing because you just, you're just pre presenting the offer to the wrong person in the wrong market in the wrong way and on and on. Uh, and by the way, just walking down the street asking people to buy, it's not a viable client acquisition strategy. You could try it if you want. I'm sure that some of you can, can probably make it work. But uh, yeah, not a viable client acquisition uh, strategy there. So we've covered a lot uh, in this video. I really hope that this helps you guys to understand that the depth to what you can teach, it's a lot deeper than, than you think. I mean, I could give you some really crazy examples. I've just had a client join me recently who works with airlines, um, does consulting for airlines and he wants to turn that into a program. It's just amazing um, what can be taught and for what prices as well. So just to summarize this video, you can teach 
almost anything. One great example that I always come back to in my own head is uh, the woman that I know that teaches knitting. Like, it's only small scale. You know, she's never going to do like 50,000 a month, 100,000 a month, quarter of a million a month, and she doesn't want to. But you can teach almost anything. That's point number one. If you love it and you do it, then there's a almost a certain chance there's going to be other people out there. There might be 100 people. There might be 100,000 people. There might be a million people. There might be 10 million people that are also into it. Some markets are obviously way bigger than others. Some markets are way smaller than others. But you can teach almost anything. And in nine times out of 10, there is a market for it. That's number one. Number two, delivering it does not have to be complex. You don't have to do a training course, group coaching, one-to-one coaching, a community, intense support, workshops, masterminds. You don't have to do that. Your deliverables will impact your price. So if you're selling your one-to-one time, one-to-one coaching, that's one of the most valuable things that you can do for people. Um, And it often gets people by far the best result. That's why I do one-to-one myself for my clients because one-to-one always gets people the best result. And I feel like I owe that to my clients, to the people that put their trust in me and let me help them to build or grow their online education companies. Um, I I, I just love doing the one-to-one anyway. So... You know, if you don't love it, maybe don't do it. But you get to choose is the point that I'm making, right? Don't feel like you have to do anything. If you don't want to do something, just don't do it. Because these businesses, they should be fun. They're really fun businesses to own and operate. They really are. You're just helping people. It's it's just fantastic. It's like, it's almost, it's almost like it shouldn't be real. How much money you can make just helping people. You know, it's it's just phenomenal. Just insane that this is even real, but it is. So number two, don't get overwhelmed by uh, deli- deliverables. And number three, price based on the long-term value that you are giving to people. Okay, so what are the long-tail effects of what you're going to help them with? And price based on that, I usually, I usually take a year. So I say, where are these people going to be on average in a year? I quantify that. And then usually charge between 5 and 15%. I, I think that that's fair. So if you can make someone 100 grand, it's fair to charge between 5 and 15 grand to make them that. That's a very, very fair value exchange there. And that just keeps it high integrity for you, for the client, you're happy, they're happy, and things are just in balance. Okay. And final point, just position your offer to the right people. Because if you position your offer to the wrong people, you're not going to make sales. If you position it to the right people, you're going to make sales a lot faster and a lot easier. I'm going to leave you with one thing. Now, I get not a lot of comments, but... I always get one or two or three comments saying, but Will, there's courses out there that are like $25, $75. So why would someone pay more? Now, firstly, if someone is charging $25 for their course, I mean, that is pathetic. It just, that screams to me that it's either completely useless because, I mean, It cost me $25 for two of these coffees, for God's sakes. Like $25 is, it's almost embarrassingly cheap for the person selling that course. So it's either four videos and 15 minutes long and it's just useless and it's rubbish. And or uh, they just don't have a clue about value and pricing and positioning. And they're simply costing themselves tens of thousands of dollars a year by not doing this right. And I guess this is like anything. I mean, it's like fitness. It's like business in general. It's like life in general. If you do it wrong, you get bad results. If you do it right, you get amazing results. You end up being a multimillionaire and having the life of your dreams and on and on and on and on. So it's just a case of 
really it's a case of just not knowing what you don't know. So, I mean, maybe, maybe you're watching this right now and you just don't know what you don't know. You just don't know how to do this and how to do this and how to do this. And not knowing that, as long as you don't know that, you're going to stay stuck. You're going to stay lost. You're going to stay frustrated. So I guess if any of you guys do need my help, I'm going to put a link in the description, uh, which will take you to the work with me page of my website. There's a video on there that explains who I can and who I can't help. Um, if you are someone that I can help and you would like my help, then book in a call and let's talk about it. And if I can't help you, then, then I apologize. The only people I can't help are people who either genuinely do not have anything that they can teach to people, which most of the time is not true. But if that is you and you have no skills, no talents, no high value knowledge, then I apologize uh, because I genuinely can't help you. And uh, I won't let you into the program. There's no way for you to get in because you have to go through a call. We have to approve you. Uh, we approve everybody before anyone comes on board with us. Uh, but if I can help you and you do have a, a great idea, a great skill, a great talent, great knowledge to share, I'd love to help you uh, to make it a reality, whether that's building an online education company, or if you have one already, growing it, and just doing things properly and, and just getting you the knowledge that you need to go to where you want to go. So if, if anybody does need help with that, head to the description. Um, I, I don't I don't care either way. I, I do this for fun. Um, we limit how many people we, we take on to keep it fun and on and on. Nonetheless, I really hope that this video has been helpful. I really hope it's been valuable. And I'm just happy because now whenever anybody asks me these questions, I can just say, go watch the video. Go watch the video, baby. Problem solved for me, and hopefully problem solved for you guys as well. Okay, and that's what this channel is all about. So if any of you guys would like to see any other videos, if there's any, anything else on your mind that we haven't covered on the channel yet, comment below and let me know what videos I can make for you guys. And in my spare time, I'll make them. It doesn't take me very long, 30 minutes. I don't edit them. I don't do thumbnails. I can get these out lightning fast for you guys uh, to help you and to add as much value as possible. So hope it helps and I'll see you back here very soon.